Brothers and sisters, it will now be my privilege to present the General Authorities, Area 70s, and General Officers of the Church for your sustaining vote. We ask that you please express your support in the usual way, wherever you may be. If there are those who oppose any of the proposals, we ask that you contact your State President. It is proposed that we sustain Russell Marion Nelson as Prophet, Seer, and Revelator and President of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Dallin Harris Oaks as First Counselor in the First Presidency, and Henry Benyon Eyring as Second Counselor in the First Presidency. Those in favor may manifest it. Those opposed, if any, may manifest it. It is proposed that we sustain Dallin H. Oaks as President of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles and Jeffrey R. Holland as Acting President of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. Those in favor, please signify. Any opposed may manifest it. It is proposed that we sustain the following as members of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. Jeffrey R. Holland, Dieter F. Uchtdorf, David A. Bednar, Quentin L. Cook, D. Todd Christofferson, Neil L. Anderson, Ronald A. Rasband, Gary E. Stevenson, Dale G. Rendland, Garrett W. Gong, Ulysses Suarez, and Patrick Kieran. Those in favor, please manifest it. Any opposed may so indicate. It is proposed that we sustain the counselors in the First Presidency and the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles as prophets, seers, and revelators. All in favor, please manifest it. Contrary, if there be any, by the same sign. We note that six new Area 70s were sustained during the General Conference leadership meetings on Thursday, October 3rd, and then announced on the Church's website. We invite you to sustain these brethren in their new assignments. Those in favor, please manifest it. Any opposed by the same sign. It is proposed that we sustain the other general authorities, Area 70s, and general officers as presently constituted. All in favor may do so by the uplifted hand. Those opposed, if any. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for your continued faith and prayers on behalf of the leadership of the Church.